Genesis 14. And it came to be in the Yomim of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Aryok, king of Alasar, Kedarlamer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Guyim, that they fought against Bera, king of Sodom, Bersha, king of Amora, Shinab, king of Adma, Shemeber, king of Tzeboyim, and the king of Bela, that is Tsar. All these joined together in the valley of Sidim, that is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Kedorlamer, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year Kedorlaomer and the kings that were with him came and smote the Raphaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, and the Zuzim in Ham, and the Emites in Shawakiriathayim, and the Korites in their mountain of Seir, as far as Al-Paran, which is by the wilderness. And they turned back and came to Ent Mispet, that is Kadesh, and smote all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites who dwelt in Katsets and Tamar, and the king of Sodom, and the king of Amorah, and the king of Adma, and the king of Tseboim, and the king of Bela, that is Tsar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim against Kedorlamer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Guyim, and uh, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Ariok, king of Alasar, four kings against five. And the valley of Sidim had many tar pits, and the kings of Sodom and Amorah fled and fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Amorah, and all their food, and went away. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and left. And one who had escaped came and informed Abram, the Hebrew, Ibri, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshcol and brother of Aner, and they had a covenant with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. And he and his servants divided against them by Layla and smote them and pursued them as far as Koba, which is on the left of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And after his return from the defeat of Kedorlamer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom came out to meet him at the valley of Shawe, that is, the king's valley. And Malkitsedek king of Shalem brought out bread and wine. Now he was the priest of Alelion, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the highest one, Al, possessor of the Shemayim and Aretz. And blessed be the highest one, Al, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tenth of all. And the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted my hand to Yahuwah, the highest one all, the possessor of the Shemayim and Aretz, not to take a thread or a sandal strap or whatever is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich, except only what the young men have eaten and the portion of the men who went with me, Honor, Eshkol, and Mamre. Let them take their portion.